It's showtime. Okay guys, welcome back to the SCPL. We're about to head into game number two of Media vs. Ash. Now Oaken just took down Dentog in a relatively quick 1-0 lead. Uh, but very, very well punished there on that early third expansion by Naoko with the dropship as well. So, really looking forward to this next one. It's going to be Herbie versus Jayun. And uh, that should be a pretty fun PvZ here on Sin Peaks of Big Dude. Yeah, still an uphill battle for Ash, obviously. They've been struggling this season, and they're going up against kind of the strong part of Media's roster. So, you know, we'll see. Uh, Media has gone through some best of fives, so, uh, or some, some five game best of fives. So, it's not like they're strangers to being taken there but for ash yeah still an uphill battle yeah so without further ado let's quickly introduce our players herbie on the left hand side of your screen is one for three this round so not doing the worst on his team not doing the best either uh, but still showing up every time that's more like I, i'm gonna be honest and say that's actually one of the most important things uh, for any player to have just consistent players who turn up uh, Ash in round two had a lot of trouble with that, especially with players like Castle, who then went on to BWL, uh, where they just kind of didn't show up for their matches, and that sucks not only for them, but also their opponents, so it's good to see that Herbie's here now. Jayun, of course, a new pickup for the media roster, uh, one of the most active North American players along with TT1, and uh, he is a very, very cool Zerg player, does stream a hell of a lot as well. Uh, very worth watching his stream, he does try and teach as much as possible, obviously does cast and host his own events as well, so shout out to Jayun. And the map they're going to be playing on is going to be Shin Peaks of Big Dude, the oldest map we have in our pool, and actually a map that's going to be, if I remember correctly, in the Moo Pro League Season 2 as well, so yeah. once again, somehow I pick a map that then gets picked up by someone else. Ah. It's happened with KSL. Mm. It's not happened with uh, ASL, but now it's happening with Moo Pro League, man. It's it's happening. I'm a trend That's a trend here, Ken. Yeah. You are, in fact, every day, pretty soon, any day now, you're going to walk outside in your, uh, I don't know, cardigan or whatever it is that you wear kicks, and everybody else is going to be wearing the same one. Yeah. That's just how it works in the UK. But either way, without further ado, let's get in to game number two here between Ash and Media. It's Herbie. Versus and starting us off here in the top middle position, we do have the yellow Protoss fighting for Ash. It's Herbie. Oh my god, so I can't actually move uh, my map. Uh, the last time that Cadenza used my computer, she installed this mouse driver software for uh, Razor Mice. And every once in a while, it just stops my mouse from moving. So I've tried to uninstall it. It won't uninstall. So I'm just going to be on, on the same screen for a while until this thing decides to start working. But I assume that the purple player in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen is the Zerg player for Team Media, uh, Jayun. It is indeed. Now, of course, there is a poll on the screen if you do want to vote for your favorite player. Uh, change the question to who's going to win to who do you want to win. Uh, ah. Just click on the name of the player you want to see win this game. And uh, I'll remember to hide the poll this time because I know it sticks up there otherwise. Uh, now, just to talk about the map just a little bit. Uh, it is kind of hard for PVC, at least modern PVC, one base PVC styles still do work. I'll just quickly... Do the micro, and that should oh, sort that. Uh, but if you're having trouble moving your camera, this could be uh, kind of funny. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still on the same one. Like I can tell what's happening on the mini map, but hopefully, hopefully I can actually like start to watch the game. Although I did manage to right before we get into the game, Google what a cardigan was. It was just the first British word I could think of. Uh, <laughs> but I found out that it was it's a sweater, a so I. Nah. I nailed it's a it's called a sweater kick. Oh my bad. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. What are we doing here? Okay, so it looks like Jayun is the winner of that poll with only three votes. Uh, obviously a lot of people not to uh, not to like I'm trying to like fanboying over certain people in yeah, this guys, matchup. What what is this? The United States of America? We need more than ten percent voting. Yeah. Two gate here coming in from Herbie though. This is kind of a matchup we've seen quite a lot. 
early pool against two gate. Uh, now there was a really cool two gate versus uh, early pool we saw between Black Sun and his opponent, who I keep forgetting the name of. But that was a really insane game as well. Like highlight intros uh, or yeah. highlight breaks even that's coming up but i mean it looks like jay wants to try and expand behind this so he's not going to be going for one base uh this is of course going to allow him to build some sunkens on the other side of the map uh the overlord is going to see these two gateways coming in as well so he's going to know that he's going to have to prepare with a good number of early lanes to hold on uh but this yeah. is going to come primarily down to micro once again yeah, I, I, excuse me. And you know, uh, with a two gate, it's even if it's scouted, it's not actually that easy for the Zerg to prepare for this because obviously you need creep to build sunken colonies, and your natural is not going to be done. So first, all, it's headed across the map, and there are those six lings out with the drones. So uh, I, obviously, this drone is going to be kind of chilling for a second, but uh, the lings should be in sufficient number early on, and then they're what's really going to going to allow Herbie or going to allow Jayun to defend Herbie's uh, attack, especially killing off that pro. It's a uh, kind of a big deal. Yeah. Now, uh, one thing uh, just to point out about this map, you can see. Herbie is making good use of this. This is a small area. The only units that can pass through, just in case you've never seen this map before, are small units. In this matchup, it's going to be Zealots and Lings, as well as Workers. So, uh, Herbie making good usage of these little areas to create chokes for his Zealots. And, uh, apparent, uh, I do apologize, Koga, but I don't think I can actually move the pole frame. Uh, I think that's I, something you do I think you, you client, as a so. viewer, can turn it on and off, but it is a little bit uh, weird to use. Yeah, it's, it's kind of in a weird place, but it does disappear after 60 seconds as long as I uh, hide it. So it's not too bad, but oh, there we wow, go. So Herb is actually going to get in the main. There's a big mistake here by Jayun, but looks like there is a decent enough surface area. But Herbie with some really good uh, Zealot Micro actually getting a lot more links than I thought he was going to. Oh my gosh, that's actually really impressive. Uh, ultimately, all the Zealots are going to go down. But at the end of the day, there's only five links left over. So, and he gets another one there at the end. There's another one at one HP. So, uh, yeah, two zealots could actually run in there and get into a, a really good spot. But you know, with the sunken being down, it's not like there's uh, too much uh, to to do. Actually, you can fit. Um, I believe the range of the sunken is such that you can fit a zealot in those two little crevices in the mineral patch and the natural, and it's yeah. out of range of the the sunken. But uh, yeah, I don't know that exactly. I mean, the trouble is, it's not necessarily just the Sunken that's going to be a problem here. Jiyun is actually looking to take a third base uh, with a drone in the bottom right. He's actually been droning quite heavily behind this, only now just adding on some additional links. And this is four Zealots. If he gets passed into the main with four Zealots, what's Jiyun going to be able to do? Yeah, there's nothing there. He has absolutely nothing except drones, <laughs> overlords, and a Sunken colony. Now, obviously, if you wait for six, that's kind of your timing. And six zealots can actually probably bust up in there. There's only, what, eight lings? Yeah. And they're actually going to be out of position if he runs in right now. Yeah, the trouble is, uh, Herbie's a little bit worried about a lane counterattack. He obviously doesn't know if there's any gas, so he doesn't know if speed is going to be on the way. Uh, he certainly does not know about this bottom right-hand hatchery, though. Jayun playing very agreedly for this map. But if he can make this happen... And make this yeah. work. Obviously, this is going to be a very, very strong position to be in uh, because Herbie doesn't even have his natural yet. I think uh, Herbie might be sniffing this out a little bit, Kicks. He knows that the Zerglings are off to the side to try to flank, but also that's going to start to make him think, wait a second, maybe I can make it down there. And this is a lot of zealots. Herbie is uh, he's, he's doing that. Uh, it's not quite Gateway Man, this is more Zealot Man, but. It's, <laughs> Reach uh, Man. It's, yeah, well, no, I mean, if this were Reach, he'd have plus one and speed by now. Yeah. Uh, but this is just only Zealots, and he's still building them, Kicks. He is. He's building the Nexus now, though, so that's a little bit of a relief for him. Still no gas, though, so there's going to be no additional tech. Uh, so purely Zealots just amassing as much as possible. Jayun is still actually droning up behind this. And, I mean, Jayun's third base is about to come into play Herbie is sending all of his zealots back, just wants to play a little bit more safe. Uh, he obviously did see those zerglings run off to the right, but didn't see them come back. So he has to be a little bit careful of a big run by uh, But Jayun is just, uh, just counting on that. And that's what's allowing him to drone up so fast on this map, which shouldn't realistically 
uh, be possible. So really well played by Jayun so far. No, Jayun's killing it right now. He is doing a really good job of uh, being able to squeeze out a ton of drones, even in the face of just a million zealots. And you know, obviously, this uh, all the zealot pressure in the two gate is going to really delay this nexus. Still not even up. Um, but, you know, it's on the way, so there's going to be a, a phase two to this. I just don't know if it's going to be able to hold on against a three base Zerg player who really hasn't taken any damage. Yeah, I mean, the one benefit for Herbie here is he's actually going to scout that there's no speed on the lanes yet. This should tip him off that there is additional hatchery somewhere. Uh, we should see him start to try and scout a little bit more, obviously, that probe did come out. I mean, speed is just now finished, so Herbie, of course, is going to have to be a little bit more careful now with the Zealots, uh, but we see that gas being added on. Stargate coming on as well. Cybernetic score finally in here, and still no plus one on those Zealots, so Herbie, realistically, compared to modern PvZ standards, is really, really far behind where you want to be. He didn't realistically mm. do enough damage. I mean, Herbie, unfortunately, went up against Jiyun, and Jiyun has... Uh, has some mental fortitude of a really good po uh, really good poker player, I'd say. Like, even though he was up against all odds, he still played greedy, and it, it worked out for him. I mean, the Zealot's going to move in across the map now. Plus one is on the way, but Jayun's vision of absolutely everything is insane. The trouble Jayun's is... Jayun's doing a really good job of... No, sorry. Um, I was going to say... Jayun's doing a really good job of... I uh, making sure that he has a good idea of what the, what the maximum possibility is from Herbie, and, and holding on. But this looks a little bit like crazy Zerg, obviously, or almost, because there's just nothing but Zerg things to defend. Yeah, now if he gets down to this bottom right base, there is a Hydra den. He is building some Hydras, but if he loses that hatchery in the Hydra den, he is going to be in a pretty bad position, actually. And I was going to say, even though Jiyun did send a lot of links out to scout, could this be a little bit of a problem for him? He may need those units here to defend, and it's going to be Zealots on a ramp against just Lings, pretty much. He's actually going to snipe the Hydralist in. Can he get it before speed is done? It looks like he's going to be able to cancel oh speed. Oh my god. And the Zealots well, yeah. still holding strong. I'm going to pretend like he did that on purpose, like hit right before that timing. That is a sick, badass timing. But honestly, it punishes Jayun for not having anything but Zealots. Yeah, uh, but they didn't do the perfect job walling off that, that ramp. He's going to get the Evo as well. Gonna... Oh my god, he's going to cancel uh, plus one range. Wow. Yeah, things are actually looking a little bit blink for Jayun now, pulling all those lings out for scouting over droning. Avoiding building sunkens could be his ultimate downfall here as Herbie is doing an absolutely sick job. His zealots have been cleaned up. He killed a good number of drones, a good number of units, and the Corsairs now, knowing that speed isn't done on the Hydralist end, and there's going to be no more anti-air, is going to be able to absolutely go to town on these overlords. The Hydra Den was actually rebuilt. Uh, there should be a Spore Colony coming up, so all is not lost for Jayun, but he is going to be supply blocked for quite a while. Yeah, now obviously it's only two Corsairs, so they're not going to kill overlords very quickly. And the Hydras will eventually get there. Oh, wow, he actually loses the Corsair. Uh, but the, the idea is that, yeah, the tech is a lot delayed here from Jayun. He's just now getting up. Well, I guess he's already he already has that... Uh, uh, Evo chamber, but he's not going to be using it for a while. Just now morphing uh, a spore colony to defend his his natural. He's kind of he took a big hit there, and this is a two base Protoss. They can stay on uh, on in this for a while in in this matchup, but I, I, I think that takes a lot of pressure off. That being said, Herbie did invest in what is that like eight a lot cannons? of cannons? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's eight cannons at the front. And that's great and everything, but like, you know, that's two next eye. Like, you can do a lot with 800 minerals. So, um, he, he did lose his entire army, so he doesn't really have a ton of agency out on the map. But, you know, he's going to be alive. He's going to have uh, scouting information from the Corsairs. And he's going to be able to see that there's still nothing but Zerglings and a, a tiny Hydra Force. They like, you know, it, it can try to push the front, but that it's, it's not really going to work out. 
The only trouble with the cannon positioning, though, is some of them are actually offset behind all of the other ones. So if uh, if Jayun actually does build a big force, I mean, he's got a lot of units out on the map now. He could actually go in to try and snipe those cannons. Now, uh, Herbie did see with his Corsair that units have left the top left. Uh, so he is going to go up there with some zealots to try and defend that area. Uh, but this is a good surround by Jayun already. Going to be getting a very good trade here on those zealots. And these are units that Herbie can't realistically afford to be losing right now he's still only on two gateways uh three gateways sorry he's just added a third right but he should have six or uh, six or eight right now uh because you know, he's on two bases so uh there's gonna be a, much, a very delayed gateway explosion he's trying to get to this corsair count up but honestly it's just hard when you lose a couple early on i think you only lost one but the idea is that Everything is a little bit delayed for Herbie because he had to invest in a ton of cannons and tons of zealots uh, that he wound up losing. So he's lost like two batches of zealots. And sure, he's gotten a little bit of damage done from that, but all of this is allowing um, Jayun to get up a massive economy. I mean, this is any Zerg in the world would be super happy with this economy right now. Tons of drones on three bases, and um, you know, he's rebuilding his next wave of tech, which includes a bunch of upgrades. And so eventually this game is going to kind of even out. It's just going to be a little bit, uh, we're just a little bit behind where we would normally be. So if you see 13 minutes, you want to rewind to like nine. That's kind of what this looks like, but with a better economy for Jayun. Yeah, now one thing I did just point out is there is actually a Queen's Nest on the way for Jayun now. So he's yeah. going to be heading up to Hive. He has his force base here over on the left-hand side of the map, getting a Creep Colony here as well, just to help aid in the defense. <coughs> defense wouldn't surprise me. If I saw a spore colony coming up there uh, with a couple of sunkens behind it. Uh, Jinyun obviously morphed a lot of drones in that situation as well. Uh, we do have a DT going down into the bottom right. But there's two sunkens, a spore, and a good number of hydras already. So this DT, unfortunately, is going to go down before it can really do anything. Yeah, uh, this is not the DT uh, that you wanted to be when you grew up. Uh, ugh. A little bit rough there. Of course, there's flying over some hydras there as well, so that's not going to work out either. So this is like, a, this is like, uh, I don't know, the difference between like a B Protoss and Bisu. Like, you know, if Bisu did the Bisu build, he'd be out there just like slaughtering every Overlord and killing everything with DTs. Yep. And, and then you have like the contrast. It's like, it's like when it's on my team or when it's on the opponent's team. It's like, well, this is definitely the Protoss that's on my team for sure. <laughs> Yeah, Herbie, unfortunately, I mean, this all re really comes down to what happened at the beginning of the game. He did go for that two, uh, well, one base, two gains that are all in. It didn't do enough damage. Jayun obviously did continue building drones, so he didn't even force that many zealots. I mean, uh, Herbie is going to try and take his third base here on the right-hand side of the map, but we are going to have Hydralis, Lings, and everything is... What are is the High Templar doing? Well. What, what is happening out here? Is this a battle? Uh, I'm just watching Hydras, like, run in and die, so this is a... Uh, it's, it's a it's the High Templar block on a ramp kicks. It is, and not only that, he actually did more <laughs> damage to his own units over the storm than he did to the Zealot, or to the Hydras. Uh, but oh, a lurker actually being morphed in at the top as well to try. Oh that actually god, blocks the zealots. Oh my Damn, god. Damn, Jayun. Why are you so sexy though? That's so <laughs> sick. I love it. Um, I mean, obviously the DT could cut through there, but even it's being walled. Out. He storms the egg. Oh, the egg goes nice. down. But that was a really, really sexy play there to do that. Oh my god. <laughs> Wow, what a badass. Okay, Ju, I see you, I see you. Um, he's also morphing simultaneously an entire control group of lurkers yep. uh, out on the map there, Kick. So he is, uh, like, Ju's just this killing probe, at this point. This probe is walking into the wrong neighborhood. <laughs> just immediately yeah. walks into a spine of lurkers, or a field of lurker spines. Give me your lunch money, probe. You're not going to make it to class today. <laughs> Uh, oof, man, that's rough. And so now, Lurker contain on the third, Hydra is pushing the four, or the, the natural, and like four to five bases coming up here for, uh, for Ju. Mm. Yeah, rough. things are definitely looking very, very good for Ju now. You can just turn off Herbie's vision and uh, press the wrong button. Look how much of the map that Herbie or Ju can actually see. You can see every other base on the map right now, every other avenue of attack from Jayun, and eventually he's just going to be able to dwarf in with his massive supply advantage. 
uh, and just kill Herbie, I think. I believe you are correct there, Kix. Um, yeah. So, I don't know. This is like before the signing, to, to use a relevant UK meme, this is like before the signing of the Magna Carta, where the uh, the bourgeoisie, Protoss, have gathered in their, in their fortress walls. But uh-oh, the proletariat masses outside <laughs> are uh, their angry kicks. They want the signing of an equal rights document. Uh, that, that guarantees them agency uh, in a world of, of nobility, uh, okay. and they're coming for it. I uh, I hate to point this out, but the Magna Carta is from 1066, and uh, you're probably thinking of the French Revolution. <laughs> uh, some it's a European uh, uprising kicks like you know, take your pick. There's plenty to choose from. The, the Magna Carta wasn't an uprising though, like, it doesn't matter though, it's all good. Either way, Dragoons coming in now, unfortunately Dragoons aren't gonna be the answer, the cannons are all gone, the units are all gone, and the hope is all gone here for Herbie as Jiyun barrels through GG! Jiyun takes down Herbie to give Media the 2-0 lead. Kix, I'm offended that you would criticize an American's understanding of European history. How how dare you? It, it's, it's fine, man. It, it, your your country doesn't have as as big of a history. It's okay. Obviously, native history it has a very long one, but a lot of that has unfortunately been lost to time. But regards, uh, excuse that... me. What? <laughs> Kicks. How dare you? So savage. My poor heart. Uh, you know what? It's uh, it's making up for all those burns I get from you. I'm like slowly learning. I'm slowly going back on them. Uh, but either way, we're going to be going into game number three when we get back.